Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol CVM. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So this here may look like several days worth of time. It's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame that does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I'm gonna state the obvious, but I will anyways. Absolutely crazy price movement to think that the price was down around this area of the chart, and then that fast all the way back up to where it closed here. Any rational person would say, yeah, the price definitely made a very, very solid bounce. Uh, but that also brings about the question now of, okay, well, is this the start of something bigger? Or in other words, is this, you know, is there a legitimate strength behind this bounce? Or is this just one of these, you know, dead cat bounce, you know, knee jerk reaction type movements? And I have no idea, but the key level to watch going forward is gonna be right here at $6.50. Why is $6.50 important? Well, if the price comes down here to $6.50, and then basically history repeats itself like it did right there, so it bounces around here a little bit and then starts to work its way back upwards, what would you have in this scenario? Well, you'd have a set of lows right there, you'd have that set of lows down there if you envision each of those as stair steps. Well, then uh, you still have very healthy stair steps progressing in the upwards direction. Now, of course, people wanna just see it go straight up, but nothing can go straight up. So like I said, even if it does pull back a little bit, that's you know fine to an extent. Quote unquote, to an extent, you know I'm defining as 650, because like I just showed, that would still give the price plenty of opportunity to chip away and build a higher uh, base. Whereas if the price were to come down here, to 650, however in this case, continue to bleed to the downside. Well, at that point in time, then from a very literal perspective, the price is essentially going right back to where it was when it was flirting with those lows. And not to insult your intelligence, but price movements that go back to where they were, not exactly a sign of true strength or true power or anything like that. So that's why to me, the 650 mark, definitely very, very important. It's essentially monitoring whether or not the price is quote unquote making progress, that associated with bullishness, or quote unquote going back, that associated with bearishness. Now, as far as levels of resistance in the event this level or this movement continues on upwards, pretty straightforward right now. It's all about that purple line there, which on my chart is denoting the 50 period simple moving average. So keep a close eye on that as you know the, the week plays out. Although, in my opinion, at least, top priority right now is not breaking levels of resistance or anything like that. It's all about just going through some healthy consolidations now and chipping away with some higher bases. So let's see if the price can stay up above 650 or not. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.